beta compressed. Extract alpha. There is not enough space. Would you like to compress gamma? Compress gamma. It would be fair to say that I admire Koganada as a director and writer. I have to date made five videos dedicated to his work. Uh, humbling and exciting, you know. Uh... This being the sixth. To be honest, the art of making films that are so profoundly affecting and that stay with you for so long after you've seen them is a skill that goes largely uncelebrated in the film industry these days. Kokonara has only made two feature-length films and has co-directed a TV series, but to me, is a director that I would place firmly up there with some of the best to ever make a film. I think it might feel like the rantings of some overzealous fanboy, but after seeing his two films Columbus and After Young repeatedly, I have come to the conclusion that his style of filmmaking is already so evident from just two films. It's the style that I need to try to master. I don't know if I'll just be making films like how he does, but I feel that as a filmmaker myself, it's necessary to keep improving and adding knowledge to myself and expanding my repertoire as it were. The thing in particular that amazes me is the nuanced, melancholic performances that the actors in this film deliver. While full credit goes to the actors themselves, there is something to be said about Kokonada's writing ability that amazes me. Texture here. Maybe not. What do you mean? I don't know shit about architecture or care. I don't believe you. It's true. I'm just like everyone here. You grow up around something and it feels like nothing. The well-written dialogue, devoid of all histrionics, has a lasting thematic effect similar to the films of Yorgos Lanthimos. Do you mind if I light a cigarette? You better not. It's all right. Just go over by the window. Can you sing us something? What, now? Yes, anything you like. No, not right now. She's embarrassed. No, I'm not. Just don't feel like it. Oftentimes in films, what we classify as good or great acting usually involves shouting, screaming, or something of that sort. Internal acting and calmness aren't talked about as much. There is an art to the screaming and shouting, of course, but the work of acting internally is, I would argue, something even more demanding. The audience can't see what you're feeling. Instead, they relate to it that is so much more powerful than simply showing a feeling. It creates an emotional resonance between the character, the film, and the audience. Take a look at this shot of Tony Leung's character in Wong Kar Wai's classic film, In the Mood for Love. No one can argue with the acting ability that Tony Leung exhibits here. You can't explain it fully in words, yet you somehow resonate with his feeling and the tone he sets. This is what I want to achieve as a director even if I don't continue to make films such as these. There are blockbuster films that create value. some that are films that are of value. That is my conclusion. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, share, like this video if you enjoyed it. Do check out my Instagram where I review films and TV shows and my blog where I go in depth into the topics of this nature and many many more. Till the next one, see you then.